a while back, I um, taught a course on spiritual autobiography, writing a Quaker spiritual autobiography for my meeting. And right now I'm kind of digging more deeply into that. And I just find it fascinating. Um, I wanted to write one myself. And so I used the course as a way to do that. And there's something about looking at your whole life and looking at the uh, kind of trends and, and movement and where you've been led that really brings you face to face with the meaning of your life. My name is Don McCormick, and I live in a little town in the Sierra Nevada mountains called Grass Valley, and I attend Grass Valley Friends Meeting. The whole thing about Quaker uh, spiritual autobiography goes way back to the 1660s, because unlike the Catholics who have a catechism, or unlike, uh, say, other Protestant sects that have creeds, we don't have those. And so how do you learn how to be a Quaker? Uh, while well, one of the main ways that people learned how to be a Quaker back then and still now is by reading spiritual autobiographies, seeing how other Quakers dealt with real problems in ways that were Quaker. And they were a bit more essential back then, but we uh, wrote just a tremendous number of them. Um, there's uh, lots and lots of Quaker spiritual autobiographies um, at the time. I mean, you think about it, some of the most influential books in the history of Quakerism, George Fox's journal and John Woolman's journal, were spiritual autobiographies. So there's a unique kind of connection between spiritual autobiography and Quakerism. As I was doing the writing, hearing what other people were saying, began to realize that there were parts of my life that I hadn't even recognized were part of my spiritual life. Um, you know, because you have to ask the question about spiritual aspects of life when you're doing a spiritual autobiography. And I began to realize that, uh, you know, there's things having to, that seem kind of more mundane. I, originally, I had just focused on things like spiritual practices like uh, meditation, meeting for worship, and organizations that I was in. But then I also began to realize that spirituality in my life also has to do with the quality of our relationships, uh, kindness, and love. Yeah, there's kind of an everyday quality about that that I had been missing. So it helped me to realize that there was more spirituality infused in my life than I had realized, you know, having to do with uh, relating to my family, you know, um, the kind of open heartedness that happened as I was, you know, my relationship with my son. And I am just uh, loving revisiting that and uh, thinking about it and, and doing it. Thanks for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every other Thursday. You can watch all our videos in this playlist here. You can subscribe to our channel by clicking this button here. You can support us through our Patreon here. Thanks again for watching and have a happy Thursday.